Hello, welcome to Waypoint Survival. Today, I want to talk to you about this amazing portable solar generator system that I received. It charges a lot of items, it's handy, it's portable, it could even save your life. Stay tuned. So a few weeks ago, I was contacted by email by the Pecron company and they asked if I would be interested in testing out one of these small lightweight batteries and see how I would like it, be interested in demonstrating it and showing it to all of my subscribers. And I said, yes, I'd be glad to do that, but I also wanted the solar panel that goes with it because I think that's what we would be most interested in here on Waypoint Survival because obviously while this is a great option for a very short length of time. If the power goes out for an extended length of time, you're going to have to be able to charge it up. And so that's where the solar panel comes in. So after I received the system, I went ahead and plugged it in as you're supposed to do. And I plugged it into the AC power at the house and charged it all the way up to a full charge. What I wanted to see was how many devices could I power and how long would the battery stay up over several weeks because I didn't want to just do like a simple test, plug it in, charge a couple things and then say, oh, it's great, it works, it's a wonderful item. I wanted to put it through its paces, see how well it would work, plug it into the solar panel, do some charging and kind of get a general idea of how effective this is as an off-grid solution. So that being said, I'm going to get behind the camera and we're going to go to each one of these various devices and I'm going to talk about how well it charges and how much power it took and how long it took to work with all of these various devices that you see here. So the first thing that I plugged in was my camera battery and interestingly enough this took the longest time I was really surprised but it took it from a dead battery all the way to a full charge and it took just about four hours and it's the larger battery that's on the back of the camera and so it went from 100% to 93%. So it took 7% to charge that battery. The next device I charged was my smartphone. And it took only a little over an hour to charge it from 37% to 100%. And this has a 5,000 milliamp battery. So it's a very big battery because uh, I use it for the outdoors and I don't like to charge it a whole lot. So basically an hour and nine minutes. And the battery, the charging device, right here it went from 93 percent to 88 percent so I've now charged both my cell phone and my camera battery and we're still at an 88 percent charge in an emergency situation it's always good to be able to tune into the news and know what's going on around you so I plugged the radio in and played it for two hours and ten minutes and it only reduced the battery strength of the Pecron by 5%. It went from 88% down to 83%. So again, very impressive. The next item that I wanted to try was my laptop. It has a DVD player. And so during a grid down scenario or if there's a power outage, I'd like to be able to watch videos. And so I plugged it in and watched a video on the laptop. Played for an hour and 53 minutes and it brought the power down from 83 to 69%. So again, pretty good job. And now the lamp, which I currently have plugged in and running. This was the most impressive of all. It is an LED bulb, and so that's going to pull a lot less juice. So this I had on for a total of five hours of good light. And it only went from 65% to 54%. So that's 9% of this battery and stayed on for five hours. So if the power goes out through a storm, some sort of a power outage or a longer term scenario, you could have lights for a long, long time. There were a couple of items that I tried because I wanted to see if it would work. I have a very small microwave and it is a 900 watt microwave. This is a 600 watt portable power station. So it didn't work. And I wasn't surprised, but I did want to check the circuit overload protection. And sure enough, if you try to pull too much power out of it, 
it will shut down and protect itself. So that's a really important feature to be aware of. The last item that I tried it on was this 10 inch Makita 18 volt cordless saw. I plugged it into the charger and it took 53 minutes to charge an 18 volt battery from dead to a full charge. I powered all of these, including five hours on the lamp, watched a movie, listened to the radio, and powered up a portable chainsaw, which is fantastic. If the power goes out in the winter time, or there's some sort of a, a hurricane grid down scenario where you're clearing a lot of brush and fallen trees, great, great option to have. And so while this isn't a plug for the Makita Corporation, uh, this is a very handy saw, and I'm going to show you how well it cuts. You gotta power it on. And just in case you think that's easy, that's a piece of walnut. So as you can see, having the ability to process firewood with something like this from a portable battery and something that you can charge up using the power of the sun is just an incredible thing to have in a survival situation with your living off grid or as I said, if there's a storm that comes through. Now it doesn't weigh a whole lot. It's got a nice little carry handle on it and it's really cool because it has a very nice LED light on the end so it can be used as its own flashlight and that's just a super awesome uh, little option there. Now, on the other side, as you can see, has your two AC outlets, and then this is where you plug in for your solar charger, and then this is where you would put in for the 110 adapter on this side. Right now, as I film it, I've got it plugged into a lamp, and as you can see on the right, it's pulling eight watts of power, Still have 56% in the battery. I have been charging it with the solar panel, but the sun's in now, so of course it charges better with full light. And as you can see, 13.6, uh, 13.7 hours at this rate uh, as, it, as it pulls down the juice. As you can see, it has two buttons, DC output and AC output. Of course, that is if you're wanting to use either your AC plugs or your DC outlet here, which of course just like a cigarette lighter or power outlet, uh, that of course works for anything that plugs in to those types of outlets. And then under here we have a couple of USB plugs and a USB-C type plug for cell phones and smart devices. And they do have to select whether you're going to be doing AC for these two or uh, DC if you're going to be using the 12 volt socket. Now, something very interesting, I'm going to show you here up close. So I've already showed you the LED light. Of course it can be used as a solar charger, but this right here is really important. This is a sine wave, and it is a pure sine wave. Now, some uh, panels or some batteries will produce what's called dirty power, so it's not good for electronics. You can also get modified sine wave, and that's okay, but it's not near as good as a pure sine wave, and that's what this is. This is a pure sine wave uh, generator, so it is clean for your phone, for your electronics, and that right there is, as I said, a very important point that you need to look at whenever you're looking at purchasing something like this. Of course, the DC 12 volt, and then the USB 3, which a lot of devices use. Weighs maybe three pounds or so. It's not heavy. Uh, it's easy to carry around. It's very portable. This is the solar panel. As you can see, it's very slender and very light. I mean, it weighs maybe a pound or two. I don't know. I didn't weigh it, but I know it doesn't weigh much. And it opens here. It's got some buckles. Press, pull. Just two here that hold it together. And then it opens up. Notice that it has grommets for hanging. I'm going to back up here a little so you can see. So there's one, two, and three. So this is a 100 watt panel. And again, it's very thin, super portable. When you go to set it up on the ground, it has these portable legs here held on by Velcro. It has two of them. 
So that's what it looks like set up. And of course, you can adjust the legs by simply moving it up and resetting the angle. So you can move it around to face the sun however you wish. And in here is the wire to plug it in. Let's look at that. Inside the attached zippered pouch, you open it up, we have the connection that plugs into the battery and it's already sized like that. But we also have some other sized connectors. If you want to charge something else that has a slightly uh, different size outlet, such as your laptop or anything that has these type of connectors. The other nice thing about it, you look here, right in this area, you get this wire out of the way and zoom in. We also have some USB connectors. So you can plug USB directly into this and run it right off the panel. Also on the solar panel is some pertinent information that's on the inside flap here. And as you can see, peak power is 100 watts, 21% cell efficiency, 18 volts of power. It gives you the amps and the voltage and the current and the operating temperature range. So minus 10 to 65 C's. So that's pretty important. And it's nice that it's listed right here so that when you get out and start working with it, you have a handy reference. The other thing that comes with it is this handy bag with a carry handle. And inside here is where you would keep your papers and all your accessories as well as the 110 inverter that you use with the proper plug for plugging it into your household outlet as well as an outlet here for charging it and working with it from the 12 volt plug. So very, very convenient manual information as well for warranty and has a good warranty and I would really encourage you to check out the company and look at all their products. So here's the portable system all together with all of its parts and pieces. So the solar panel itself is $249. The Pecron 600 that I have here, uh, 600 watt portable power station, retails at $419. And I think it's just about perfect for most homeowners and small like off-grid type scenarios. I want to thank you for watching the video and I also want to thank the good folks at Pecron for contacting me and for sending me this. Uh, just as a full disclaimer, I didn't pay for this. They did send it to me and I appreciate it very much. I had been thinking about getting a system like this for some time and so very happy to try it out and test it. I do know a fair amount about off-grid power and so being able to use it was a real experience and I was very happy to put it through its paces for you all. I would encourage you to go to their website. I'll make sure and put links down in the description box below where you can go and visit their website and check out all the great items that they have to sell and to offer you and see which one will fit your needs best. And if you want to know more about Waypoint Survival and all the things that we do, you can click some of the links. They're going to pop up on your screen here in just a little bit. And we appreciate you all watching and for all your time and for everything you do for our channel. And we'll talk to you next time.